The crew is here. Metal has dropped and shaping gods. Here we go, guys. Hello, everyone. Thanks for pressing play. You are watching a brand new episode of Excalibur CCG TV, where every week we come together to tell you about the great comics hitting the shelf. I am Chris. I am Mark. Guys, we are Excalibur Comics, Cards, and Games here in Shreveport, Louisiana, as well as in Texarkana, Texas. You can always find out what's going on with us by going to our website, ExcaliburCCG.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. The links are down below. We are talking about the new stuff for April 12th. But guys, before we dive into all of that, all of that number one, it's going to be a shorter show this week. We are in full swing with our Mega Sale. And number two, we're going to be, uh, we got a couple announcements here real quick as well for important things coming up just weeks away from now. First of all, we are going to be at Louisiana Comic Con. Yes, we will. That is the weekend of April 22nd, so the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, if I believe. No, it's just uh, Saturday and Sunday. Just Saturday and Sunday, 22nd yeah. and 23rd. Yeah. Man. <clears throat> Guys, we will be there. This was the big convention that we had in Bossier a couple years ago that... It was, it was way bigger than anybody anticipated. They learned. They learned. They're, yes. they're doing a lot better. <clears throat> so we got a new location, yeah. uh, better first, time. First Coliseum. Yeah. Um, Saturday and Sunday. We're going to be there. We'll be set up. We'll be there selling our wares and peddling stuff and just, just having fun, hopefully. Come by and say hi. Come by and say hi. Check out the, because we're going to have a beautiful <clears throat> wall of stuff there that you will see that is just awesome to see every time i see it i'm like i can't believe we have this stuff it's so awesome uh like yes like real like some really cool super collector stuff so be sure and save your date for that be sure and be at the louisiana comic con because we're there also just a week or two after that free comic book day one thing about the con yes um we won't we don't sell tickets to that one um i think they do all that stuff online through their website Good. So uh, we will not have tickets for the Louisiana Comic Con. Okay. Geek, Geek Con, yes, we will eventually, but um, not for this one. Okay. So get your tickets online for Louisiana Comic Con, and then plan on being there and seeing us. And then a couple weeks later, free comic book day, free baby. Free comic book day. Free comic F book day. C B D. All day. We'll be here. We'll be giving away free comics. This is always a huge day for us. Tons of fun for everybody. So guys, mark your calendar. We'll have more details for you in the coming weeks. But guys, let's dive into some of the new number ones they're dropping for this week, starting off with Marvel. They are in their whole resurrection full swing, and that's continuing this week with X-Men Blue number one by Colin Bunn and Jorge Molina on board for this new X-Men series. The originals are back. So we've got Marvel Girl, Cyclops, Beast, Iceman, and Angel all coming back together to reclaim the title of the X-Men, and they are going out to find mutant criminals and bring them to justice. But they got kind of two problems here. One of them is not that it's really a problem, it's different for them, but Jean Grey is leading the team and also Magneto is mentoring it. And remember guys, these are ones from the past that have a beef with Magneto. So guys, is that going to tear them apart? Or will they be able to, to, to fulfill their purpose and move forward with this type of conflict going on? We'll find out starting with this first issue here. X-Men Blue number one dropping this week. What's up for you, Mark? Uh, Weapon X number one, also for Marvel. Uh, Greg Pack, Greg Land. That's right, the two Gregs. If they were a couple, it would be Greg and Greg. Pack Land or... Oh, I like that, man. Land Pack, Pack Land. <laughs> now, that's cool. With more research, more funding, and more adamantium at its disposal, the Weapon X program is creating new killers for old targets. Yeah. Old Man Logan, Sabretooth, Lady Deathstrike. Weapon X isn't just experimenting on mutants anymore, it's eradicating them. Yes. All of them. Plus, you won't believe who's taken the job as director of Weapon X. Yeah. Who could that be? I don't know. I, I hadn't even heard it. I hadn't heard rumors. I haven't, I haven't heard either, anything. actually. And, and this is going to be leading into that whole weapons of mass destruction. Yes. Uh, mutants, or Mutant, whatever. mutants of mass destruction. Mutants of mass destruction. Weapons of mutant destruction or whatever. So, yeah, weapons of mutant destruction. Weapons of mutant destruction that's going to be coming up. <clears throat> uh, where we saw, what we talked about a couple weeks ago, where you yeah. saw that the Hulk, Wolverine, Wolverine Hulk, Hulk thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, guys, there we go. Uh, guys, also, for all of you Black Panther fans, Defenders fans, uh, Ta-Nehisi Coates fans. We get Black Panther the Crew, number one, dropping this week by ta Coates and Butch Guise on board here. And this is the street team, guys. We've got Black Panther, Storm, Luke Cage, Misty Knight, and Manifold coming together to take care of the street-level threats that are going on with this new ongoing series. 
There has been a Harlem activist that has died, and the mystery of what caused this death is what's bringing them all together. They're going to be unearthing secrets about Marvel's past, and it's going to set the stage for a big story coming up. But we're going to be looking at fear, hate, and violence in this series, but the crew's got this. Now, and we just got in today a whole run of Black Panther trades. Really? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, the whole Christopher Priest run I think we got, and uh, a few more. So if you want to catch up on some Black Panther stuff, uh, we got the trades for you. Christopher Priest stuff was awesome. Yeah, it was. As a matter of fact, he's the one that started the crew, wasn't he? Uh, that what, his... there, was a, there was a previous crew. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that yes. was with the Casper Cole Black Panther, right? I think so. Yeah. 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 Different. Okay. Yeah. That's right. So, guys, Black Panther crew number one drops this week. What's up for you, Mark? Uh, Deadpool versus Punisher number one. Fred Van Lint or Linty? Sure. Linty. And Pere Perez. Pere Perez. Pere Perez. <laughs> Both men are among the deadliest on the planet when they find themselves in disagreement over the criminal known as the bank. They're in for one of the most brutal fights of their lives. Can Frank kill Wade over and over without ever once dying himself? Exactly. Or will Wade bug him until he welcomes death? Huh? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going for that option. That's, that's yeah. going to be, that's always fun when those two get, uh, you know, together. That's, uh, that's fun stuff. Did you see those interesting developments in the last issue of Uncanny Avengers between Deadpool and Rogue? I did see that, actually. <gasps> I did see that. Don't have time, guys. Moving on. God <laughs> Shaper, number one from Boom Studios. We still have it here on the shelf if you're curious. Exactly. Uh, God Shaper, number one from Boom, Simon Spurrier. We got Vince El Tabanas as the creative team coming on board here. Uh, I saw some people were interested in this whenever we posted it to our website. This takes a look at, at a vast world where there's a god for every person and a person for every god, except for this one character, N.A. He is one of the exceptions to the rule. People like him are god shapers. They are social pariahs with the ability to mold and shape the gods of others. Paired with Bud, an off-kilter but affectionate god without a human, the two travel from town to town looking for shelter, a hot meal, and the next paying rock and roll gig. Bud the god. <laughs> Bud. Bud. <laughs> so, guys, uh, I saw several people express interest on, on the website. We have some people that have ordered it. This is probably going to be a different uh, kind of a, I don't know. I don't know. With this, it's, it's going to be rock and roll. So there we go, guys. I mean, have fun with this. See what's going on with N.A. and Bud and what, what they're doing and how gods fit into all of this. What's up next for you, And Mark? hot meals. And hot meals, too, right? <laughs> Porridge. <laughs> next up from Dynamite, we got Z Nation, number one, uh, by Craig Engler and Idu Mina. Sure. It's a six-issue miniseries. It's a prequel to the uh, sci-fi TV show, sci-fi channel TV show. Yep. Uh, Black Summer is as bad as the apocalypse gets. A worldwide drought and famine when most of the surviving population dies and turns zombie. Charles Garnett returns to send a new team on a desperate new mission. Retrieve a possibly untouched cache of the food substitute, substitute Soylent Z. Not like Soylent Green. Exactly right. Soylent Green is people! <laughs> From Galveston, Texas. But when the team... <laughs> I don't know if Soylent Z is people. Was, I don't know what that is. That was the movie. <laughs> but when the team arrives in Galveston, they'll face a threat unlike anything ever seen before in the zombie genre. And I don't know what that could possibly be. Um, but I've seen a couple episodes of the TV show, and it's actually pretty good. I saw. I watched some of the first season. It's, I haven't followed the rest of it. It's got a lot more humor than the than The Walking Dead. Right. Right. I don't know, man. There was one scene in that first episode that freaked me out with the zombie baby. The zombie and, baby, I yeah. was just like, I don't know if I can do this, man. <laughs> I like my zombies to be adults, you know. Yeah. But yeah. there we go, guys. All you fans of Z Nation, check that out. Six issues. Nice little tight bundle there. You, you Check that out and have fun with that with this new story. Uh, last up, guys, Rose Number 1 from Image Comics by Meredith Finch and Ig Guara. Uh, this is another fantasy tale going on here about a girl trying to restore the balance to a broken world. Rose is trying to connect with her cot, and the cot's name is Thorn. Whatever a cot is, I don't know what that is. A spirit animal? You can or sleep on them. It, most people do. They sleep on, <laughs> sleep on cots. Uh, but she's trying to connect with her cot to become the guardian the world the world oh, needs. I, this one looks really good. Yeah. It really does. And the Ig, Iguara, I've seen Ig's art. It's pretty. It's nice. It's very, very nice. Yeah. I've seen it around. Yeah. Uh, but they're being chased down by this powerful sorceress, Drusilla, and her demons and allies are chasing after them. 
They're all focused on stopping this girl from doing this, trying to become the, the protector of the world that she's trying to be. And now she's trying to stay alive and do what's right at the same time. So, guys, check out Rose Number One from Image Comics. Could be uh, a sleeper. It, honestly, that's usually that's a lot of, of what happens. This is the kind of book that's it's going to sell out. And if you don't pre-order it, if you don't pick it up, you're going to have to wait for a second print, whether yeah. or not they do one or not. I think this is going to be one of those kind of books. Exactly. It has the mark. It. I can tell you right now. Without going into detail, it has the markers of that. Yeah. To so, me, I mean, already. if it sounds halfway interesting to you, make sure you come in Wednesday if you can. If you can't, um, make sure you try and get it ordered right away if you miss it because I, I think it's not going to last long. Yeah, yeah. And we should have the link on the website too. So you can go to our website, type in Rose number one, look for that, go right to it, add it to your pool list if you're one of our regular subscribers here, here at the shop. So guys, let's dive into some storylines this week, all Superman related. Yeah. Mark, what's up first for you, sir? Uh, Action Comics 977. Awesome. Um, Superman Reborn Aftermath Part 1. Yeah. Superman examines his entire history, the birth of John, the marriage of Lois and Clark, their lives at the Daily Planet, to discover who tried to destroy his life. Who was waiting in the shadows? Who was Mr. Oz? Is it Ozzy Mendias? Is it? Is it Ozzy Osbourne? Is it, who is it? Who is Mr. Oz? The great and powerful Oz. Serious questions, guys. All questions the Man of Steel cannot answer alone. It is time for him to unite the entire Superman family. Awesome. Awesome. And that continues on with new Superman number 10 this week. That's another Superman Reborn Aftermath tie-in issue. Superman meets Superman. First time, isn't it? I think it is the first time. Uh, guys, uh, as the battle with China White and Lex Luthor has been intensifying, the Man of Steel steps in to settle things once and for all. Can the combined might of three Superman turn the tide? Three. Yes, that's right, because we got Lex Luthor claiming to be Superman that's as, true. as well at this time. That's true. So, guys, check out new Superman number 10 this week as well. What's next for you, Mark? Uh, Supergirl number eight. Uh, another tie-in, Yep. obviously. Superman and Supergirl meet again for the first time. To face the evil of the Emerald Empress. Ooh. Plus, what does it mean for the girl of tomorrow when tomorrow promises a dark night? Uh, shocking revelations. All-powerful sorceresses. Sorcerai from the future. <laughs> the Batgirl of Burnside. And dinner in the Wild West. They're all here in this amazing issue. No? Cool. Cool. It, what was I was... I was uh, uh, oh, yeah, guys. And that's a dark... K and I, Dark G -G. Knight, like mm. Batman. Dark What's going Knight. on there? So, guys, uh, there we go with DC. DC having the, the aftermath uh, tying issues and here for the if, Reborn. If you want to see another neat little uh, Batgirl, Supergirl team up, the uh, Batgirl annual uh, that came out last week, I think we still have a couple on the shelf. It was a pretty cool little story. Really? Yeah. Good. It was Good. A little deal. Oh, man. I like annuals, but I kind of wish I wish I just did some different things with them like yeah, used to do back in the day. I, I like it when they're relevant. But, I mean, it is a fun little story. Cool. Check it out, guys. Have fun with that. Guys, one big news topic for us to cover for this week before we wrap up the show here. Guys, they have finally announced what Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo are coming back to work on at DC that's Batman-related, but it's not just Batman-related. It's going to be DC Universe-wide related. Dark Knight's Metal. That's what's bringing these superstar creators back together to work together again on Batman, but not just Batman. He'll be like a large focus of it, yeah. but it's going to affect the entire DC universe. And this is something that Scott Snyder says that he's been planning for as long as he's been writing Batman. And dropping seeds in that whole New 52 run is apparently what's, what's happened. So, And that kind of confuses me. I don't mind it because it was just great, but... Okay, how much of that is coming over into Rebirth? That's been the confusing point to me. Yeah, and I mean, I don't, I don't think, I don't think they're going to change Batman stuff too much. I don't think so either. I mean, honestly, it was that, it's pretty it, solid. It kind of stayed the same yeah. pretty, going into the New Fifty Two. Right. It didn't change too much, and I don't think they're going to change too much going into Rebirth. So, I don't think his continuity is going to get, you know, screwed with too much. Yeah. <laughs> but guys, this is uh, this is bigger than Batman. And uh, Snyder says that he even started dropping clues during Court of Owls. That's all the way back at the beginning. Yes, yes. Uh, so, guys, we've got that coming starting in August, if I'm not mistaken, of this year. Uh, there'll be more details as we get closer to that. But, guys, metal. And people are speculating that this happens. To, this story is going to be something about 
the Thanagarian, the mysterious Thanagarian nth metal that mm. they use that helps them fly and they use for their weapons and different things like that. Yeah, and I mean, they just, I, I would imagine that Hawkman will get re the reincarnation will happen probably in this series. Um, and if you want to be like the world's greatest detective and figure out all the clues on your own, we have all the trades. Boom. For the new 52, the Batman if stuff. If you haven't so. read any of the Snyder it's, Capullo stuff, it's really you, good. You've got to get it, man. You got to get the trades, the collections, whatever, however they have it combined, because it is awesome. It yeah, is it really just is. Awesome. It's, it's good stuff. It Capullo really is. just rocks, man. He just rocks. He's and the story, McFarlane to me. I mean, exactly, really exactly. Intriguing. I loved him back in the day when he was on X Force at Marvel and stuff, man. Yeah. I mean, he's just a great artist. Yeah, he really is. I think the only time I didn't follow him was when he went to Spawn and all that stuff because I just yeah. wasn't reading Spawn. Yeah, but that that was just me. But guys, <laughs> yes, if you haven't already, get the trades of what they've done on Batman and get ready for Dark Knight's Metal coming later this uh, fall in August. So guys, that's really it for this week. I do have a quick question of the week that we're just going to wrap it up with and let you answer. Since we're since we're full swinging to our mega sale, I want you to tell me in the comments below what was your single most awesome comic buying experience ever. Whether it's on whether it's online or at a con or at a comic shop, tell us about your single most awesome comic buying experience ever what was it what'd you get how did it affect you was it a was it just something you were dying to get it was a, a giveaway that you won whatever was it, it was was it your first comic ever first comic ever first trade ever first signature ever that you got from somebody tell us in the comments below your most awesome comic buying experience in the comments below and that's how we're going to wrap up this week guys anything else to add sir no Guys, no, sir. that's it for this week. We're busy, but we will be back next week in a new video with even more exciting news and announcements to share with you. So until then, take care, read some great comics, leave us some fantastic comments down below, and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.